So one of my viewers have asked me what would be the best graphic card in budget for Gigabyte H61M DS2 with a specification of having 4GB RAM and adding another 4GB and the good news is that it has quite a good amount of power supply of 500 watts so I've already made a video of finding the best CPU for Gigabyte H61 DS2 and now is the time to find the best graphics card so as always go to the description of my video and then click on this link which is PC specs then you need to click on motherboard and in search just type H61M then scroll down so make sure here to include items without prices by clicking on yes motherboard manufacturer is gigabyte so go to the motherboard section click on show all and then click on gigabyte so it refines the result into just one page and we can then easily find the gigabyte GAH61M-DS2 and there are two different versions one is revision one and one is without any revision so what's important for compatibility of a graphics card and a motherboard is the form factor so both of them got the same form factor sockets they both have got the same sockets and the chipsets and both of them are intel so if you find for one it would be same for the other one so for this example i will select without the first revision so let's select this one so after selecting your motherboard you need to click on compatible gpus it will give you two different companies and i prefer to go with nvidia and in here it gives a list of all the graphics cards that are compatible with h61 mds2 gigabyte motherboard so the lower the series the better the graphic card quality would be for example the best graphic card in here would be the in the 20 series so if you select 20 series and the best among these three would be geforce rtx 2080 ti ti would be better than without the ti and the 10 is a good rating but if you want a more moderately priced but equally a good quality graphic card you can try the 600 series in the 600 series we have gt and gtx gtx would be a more advanced and more powerful graphics card so if you for example select gtx 680 you will still get a good performance of your graphics card so let's examine our options let's first check the difference between rtx 2080 ti and rtx 2080 here we got the specification of RTX 2080 and you can see it has a whopping 11 gigabytes RAM which is very high it is very above 4k it's almost 8k so you can connect a few monitors and you shouldn't have any problems and the power supply is pretty high it's 260 but I will come back to this uh, in the end of the video. Now let's compare it against RTX 280. We got a bit lower RAM. We got 8 GB RAM. It is still 8K. Another difference between TI and not TI is that the TI does not support SLI slash Crossfire. But without the TI, it does support. Overall, with the TI, it has a higher memory of 11 gigabytes so let's now examine more moderately priced graphic cards so first we will check gtx 680 which is also quite good it gives you 4k graphics card which is still very good ram is reduced to 2 gigabytes and the power requirement is reduced as well bear in mind this is 2012 model and, and 2080 which is 20 series would be 2018 model the cheapest option would be gt 630 without the x as i mentioned earlier gtx is better than gt but again the price would reduce considerably and you have to check your specific country to examine the price but 630 you get still 4k you get 1 gb ram and it's 2012 i would personally would choose rtx 2080 ti because it has got superior specifications and it's the best graphic card that i can select for my motherboard so in the future if i update my motherboard i could still remove my graphics card which is this rtx 2080 ti 
and put into my new motherboard but as i said for a more reasonable price you can go with 600 series for example as i suggested for the cpu to go with i7 3770k and it was from 2012 model and if you want to match the 2012 graphic cards model you could go still with gtx 680 which is also was released in 2012 in this way both the graphics card and the cpu would be from the same year for the same motherboard and then if you go to the this website outer version i did a quick check so i selected the cpu as i specified earlier i7 and then I selected two 4 GB RAM. I selected NVIDIA, the best possible option, 280 Ti. And then I selected a storage, a DVD, PSI, and then a keyboard and a mouse, one USB fan, one LCD monitor of 21 inch. Obviously, the biggest consumer of powers are CPUs and graphics card so the rest is just as a bit of voltage and then i did the calculations as you remember the viewer has said he got 500 volts so just going with the best graphics card and the best cpu 500 watts would be just enough based on obviously all these specifications i've put in into this form and any model lower than RTX 2080 Ti would definitely be under 500 watts of power requirement. If you want me to find the specific graphics card for your specific motherboard or compatibility problems, put that in the comments below and I will get back to you. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.